Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Samuel Vidal and as promised today we'll be making this awesome character from Studio Rage 4, Blaze Fielding. So let, let's get started. I already got the character creator 3 loaded up and to start I'm going to use this character here. But I'm going to be changing her body only. So I'm going to go here to the content panel, base, and body morph here. Select in this folder, and I'm going to select a strong female body. <coughs> okay. Next, I want to change the color of her eyes so I'm gonna go to this option the eyeball and I will look for something for this one brown color and it'll be eyes 09 okay and now I want to adjust her fingernails here so uh, red color so I'm gonna jump to the modify panel here materials and well first of all I have to select the body okay <clears throat> and now on the material list here we see the nails and we will change that let me adjust increase the saturation a little bit well not a little bit that was a lot um, okay and then adjust the hue okay Another thing I want to do before I continue is, let me close this real quick. I want to change the background. Okay. So. <clears throat> I go here to the stage option and. Um. Well, usually you go to this IBL folder and then select the Studio CO2. I mean, that is if you want to use this one. Let's see. <coughs> and one important thing is always to save. Okay. Because. As I mentioned before, these programs, they have a tendency of crashing out of the blue. So. Okay. Now I'm going to start by editing her skin. Okay. I'm going to tone down a little bit the uh, color of her skin as you see here in the reference photo here. <coughs> okay. So I'm gonna go to the modify panel, appearances, select skin, and remember once you active the editor, she will go completely naked. So just to be safe. And okay. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. First thing I'm gonna do now is select the skin base. Let me just push this here. And we're gonna look for color ID option on the brightness. Just gonna lower that down to negative 0 0.05, I think. That should do it. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm going to adjust resolution to 4096 by 4096. And once that done, update here. Let me expand this a little bit so you can see. Okay. Hit update to update everything. You know, the other parts of her body. <coughs> okay, that's done. Now I'm going to go to the makeup tab here. Okay. So in the reference photo, we see she got like an eyeliner, um, thick eyelashes and eyebrow and a lipstick. Okay. So, oh, sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to go to the content here, panel, makeup. I'm going to start with the eye makeup here and select eyeliner. And I'm going to look for, let me see, for this one here, the round one. Let's see how that one works. <clears throat> okay. And that uh, looks super awesome. Yeah, I like it. Now I'm going to go to the eyelash here. And I want to do her eyelashes a, bit, a little bit thick. So maybe I could use one here. Maybe the mascara. Maybe I could use this one the drama thick. Maybe this one the drama bushy. Maybe this one's too exaggerated. I mean it'll look on her. I don't know. Let's try this one. Okay, let us see. I think that that looks great. Yeah, not bad. We'll leave it like that. Then let's jump to the lip makeup. And I'm gonna use this one, the red coral. Okay. Yep, that looks awesome. And let's go to the eyebrow. And I want to use one that looks more thick than this one. So I probably will be using this one, the heroin one. Ah, yes, this one looks awesome. Good. I like it. Okay. And I think I am done for the makeup part here. So. We're just gonna go back here and close this editor here. So everything comes back up again. Okay. Now I'm going to add some hair. Okay. Select hair. Select a hair group, hair, legacy, and um, I have many options here of hair. Okay, like I could use this one if I want to, but the problem with this hair is that I wanna use a hair that gets close to this one here. And then if you notice on the reference photo, 
See, she has really long hair because you can see part of her hair here. I mean, she has long hair. Okay. So, I'm going to use this one. This one, my favorite ones. And I'm going to use this one, the Anastasia hair. I think I'm gonna like this one better. Okay, that looks awesome. <clears throat> now, to change the color of the hair, there's two options for this. One is um, an option that I have done in, in previous video that you can go to the modify panel, then to this tab and then start um, editing all these textures here to like a brown color hair okay but there's another option you can do and that is you can go to the content panel here and select stage element and select material option here and then you're gonna see this folder here that says swan then you're gonna select the Anastasia hair and you want to find that it had, you know, textures here already set up for this hair, you know, different colors. My only complaint about this is I don't understand why this folder is hidden in this setting here. This is something that should be in the hair option available with the other hairs, but I mean, I don't know why. I wish they changed that. But that's okay. And then in this case, I'm gonna use this one. See, it's more like a brown color. Ah, looks awesome. All right. And that's done. Now I'm gonna move on to to her clothing and I'm gonna select the clothes um, option here the uh, shirt and I'm going to select the R publishing folder uh, Cami's closet too and I will be selecting this one here this halter here okay As for for the top, okay. Now, if you notice, you see that th there's um some arrows here, like her skin is coming through the her her top here, as well as here. And as I show you in previous video, there's a way to fix that, which was a modifier panel, and then going to attributes and then add a mesh okay and there you can fix it manually but there's also another easiest um, way to do this and you do the same thing you go here modify attributes and then instead of this one you're gonna select the conform okay and then this option here increase size you're just gonna increase it one time to 0.10 okay see and that fix it there oh, I still got a little bit here left see so in that case um, I'm just gonna select this option calculate collision boom it's gone see And that is it okay and then go back and close it now I want to change uh, the color and the design on this top here <coughs> excuse me so 
modify panel um, appearances and select outfit outfit um, tab check this option select the PBR 7 mat and active appearance okay let me expand this okay the first option I will be looking is for material base which is this one and you see the texture here see the same texture here I want to change that I have to expand this more right well, not, not that long but. Yeah, there we go okay I want to change this to instead of input maps I'm going to select this one letter and change it to that okay <clears throat> now I will close this and then I want to make this red so I'm gonna go down here to another option which is the material base tweak okay materials base tweak enable that and then you're gonna start by adjusting the saturation here ah it looks awesome um change the brightness a little bit 49 and then it's probably do a little more red yeah I think that looks good so 49 47 and 1.00 <coughs> for the other settings as well okay and we are going to increase this to 2048 oops 2048 by 2048 and we close the appearance error okay that's done now I'm gonna add um, gloves and have some gloves there I'm gonna go to this option here others hive wire huntress and <clears throat> I'm gonna use this one okay and there's gloves here I'm gonna make them black so I'm gonna go to the modify material and we have to see which one because there's two texture here okay one is for this leather here and the other one is for this um thin here this latch here so well I guess I have here the leather because I can see the texture and <coughs> First thing is to desaturate it and then lower the brightness. Yeah, it should look good there. Uh, looks awesome. Okay, next I'm gonna add the boots. So I'm gonna go here. See, we already got some boots here, but nah. See, because if we take the uh, the reference photo here, see, I want to use something that looks a little bit closer to that. But I don't think I have boots here that might look like that one. <coughs> so. 
I'm gonna go to I think it was this one our publishing um, peacekeeper yeah okay but I'm going to select the high resolution one and select this ones okay and I want to edit the textures on this one to make it red so seeing in with within this boots you can you know edit different different parts of the boots here see so we'll do that we'll check everything and we'll select the pvr7 mat for each one now once i active the editor i may have to skip because it takes a while to load up the editor so you're gonna see that the video is gonna cut suddenly here once i active this okay that's been um loaded up it almost took two minutes that's crazy so anyway, um, I'm going to expand this. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay, I'm going to start with this one, the boot. And go to material base here. Change that texture to leather. Okay. And do the same thing here. Go to material base tweak. Enable. <coughs> and we are going to start changing this option. We already saw it was negative point forty nine. That takes a while, see? How much it takes to change that value? Mm, I think this one was negative point forty seven. Then this one. No, I did this wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was. Point forty nine. I don't know why I put a negative there. I apologize about that. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> Point forty seven. And now see. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Okay. <coughs> um in this case, I'm not going to adjust the output size because that's going to take too long, you know. So, then I'm going to select the strap, which is this part here. Okay. And, again, material base. Replace with leather. Okay. And just gonna look for the material base tweak. Enable. <coughs> and again, forty nine point forty seven. and all the way up okay so now even though this is a different type of boot compared to the reference photo see 
it looks a little bit just you know because in the reference photo you see this black here area here I don't know if those are the laces on uh, her boot it might be well so it kind of looks the same or we can just simply assume that blaze when the next the very next day she just bought herself a um, new pair of boots <laughs> <coughs> so let's just simply now once that's done let's just go now and close the appearance editor and again you notice here that skin is coming out of her you know her skin is coming out through the through the boots here so again we're just gonna go modify attributes confirm increase and calculate collision boom that's it that's done how easy that was uh, okay She looks awesome already. <laughs> and I'm going to add skirt. I'm going to go here to skirts. Essential clothing. Now, I don't have a skirt here that might look like this one. See? So the only option I got is to add this one here. Okay. And I know probably you by now are thinking like, what are you doing? But let me explain. This um, character here, this model, I'm planning to export it to import it into Blender and then in Blender I'm gonna add it this skirt here like I'm gonna cut it see so the only thing I need to do with this is just get the proper texture here and of course in Blender I will be doing this part here in black like a black stripe here as in the photo see although that looks like it's part of the belt but in this case I'm just gonna do a part of her dress of her um, skirt instead okay so back again appearance outfit Select PBR7 mat, active them, switch. And again here, material base, you see the texture here? We will replace that with leather now if you happen to to have your own texture you can always I think replace it let me see see you select custom you can replace it here but now I'm just gonna use this one step and material base tweak and then forty seven. Okay. Now for some reason this skirt here is look a little bit brighter than this, so I'm just gonna lower the luminosity here until I think it matches the the top.
Yeah, I think that will work. Awesome. And let us increase this the resolution and close the appearance editor. Okay, now that that's done, I think the last thing I need to do is add her jacket. So I'm gonna go here to coats and select this punk leather jacket. Okay, that looks awesome. Okay, so before I go to export this model, I need to fix something and that is on her hair. Cause you see her hair is colliding with the jacket. So let's select the hair and we're going to go to this option here, morphs and obviously select the hair here and first I'm going to start, I'm going to select this option here, the ADJ long from forward L for left. See, uh, beautiful. And then for the right one, so it doesn't look weird. And this area here, see, I think this is the bend. I think. Oh no, okay, but it'll it'll raise all of that. See, and then over here, okay. I think that looks good. Yes. Then we need to fix the back. See? This is another reason why I like to use the swam hair because it gives you this option also. And I'm going to scroll here to look for an option here. I think it's the back back. Let me see if it's Oh yeah. That's the one. And let me see the back out. Yeah. Then bring this back a little bit again. Wow, that looks awesome. Okay. So I guess she is done as far as adding and editing stuff to her. So now the next thing I will do is get her ready to export her. I'm going to go here to file. Okay. Export. But first of all, let me just to be safe. Let me save because <laughs> I haven't saved this. And now I'm going to go here to file. Um, export FBX. That's the format. Okay. In order for me to import it to Blender. And <clears throat> You got options here in this property panels here. You can select who, whatever um, 3D software you're using. See, in this case, I'm going to use Blender. Okay. And I'm going to uncheck this because if I leave this checked, then the textures I'm going to be embedded within the FBX file. But if I uncheck this, then the texture will be um, in a separate folder just in case I need to go and edit um, any textures there. Okay. 
And then I guess I'm going to use her current post. I checked that. Let me see any other options here. You have the option to delete hidden faces, but I'm not going to do that. And yeah, I'm good to go. And then export. And I'm going to go and save it here. And the blaze. And save. Okay, one thing I almost forgot, which I had to go back and edit this video, was um, to add a belt here. So we will do that real quick. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to clothes, others, and we're gonna add this punk belt. And then let's fix this again, confirm, and increase it, cut to the collision, and boom. There we have it, okay. Then on Blender, I will be fixing her buckle here. Probably gonna delete this call and everything. I'll be fixing it, okay. I just simply forgot to to add the belt um, for that. Okay. Okay, and I guess that's it for this video. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, please um, hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the second part.